It's never popular to drill for oil and natural gas in the water. There are many reasons to believe it will benefit the nation overall nevertheless. Offshore drilling may have a positive impact on the environment, the economy, and international standing. Additionally, this depends on continuing monetary investment in domestic oil production. China, which currently has 61 drilling platforms, has just announced a terrifying new oil discovery that will forever alter the course of human history. What is this discovery actually about? Want to know more? Then stay with me till the end of this video. Welcome back! I hope you're all doing great! So in today's video, I'll tell you all about the entire story of China and how they announced their huge oil discovery that will change the world forever. Chinese researchers have made significant scientific progress by locating the nation's first significant deep-water deep stratum gas field. In the sea southeast of Henan province, there's a gas field with confirmed reserves that exceed 50 billion cubic meters. This is a significant advancement for the government's attempts to quicken deep-sea exploration, and preserving its energy independence depends on this. The Tarim Basin is one of the most difficult to explore due to its harsh ground environment and complicated underground conditions, according to Luo Zhuojian, head of intelligence and research at the Sinopec Economies and Development Research Institute, who also told the China Daily that the region has sufficient energy resources that will guarantee a continuous supply for the country's future development, claimed that the discovery would significantly increase the nation's domestic oil and gas production. The Global Times reports that one 117 wells are part of Sinopec's exploration program in Shunbai, with one of them reaching a depth of 9,300 meters. The latest discovery might provide the nation's oil needs for two years, according to the Global Times, which cited the director of China's Center for Energy Economics Research at Xiamen University. The announcement of the discovery follows another significant exploration win for China last month, when the state-run oil giant CNOOC discovered the nation's first-ever offshore shale in the Baibu Gulf of the South China Sea. Although the technological complexity of extraction could present difficulties, the Wildcat Well, the first to be drilled offshore China, is said to be a commercial discovery in a gulf where the Chinese believe that there are almost 9 billion barrels of untapped shale oil. Baodao 21-1 The new gas field will be known as Baodao 21-1, according to an announcement made by the China National Offshore Oil Corporation, or CNOOC. It was also the biggest development in drilling in the Songnang Baodao region in almost 50 years. Exploration for oil and gas offshore frequently concentrates in deep water or in areas that are deeper than 300 meters. Furthermore, deep wells are defined as being deeper than 3,000 meters. The Baodao 21-1 gas field, according to analysts, is located southeast of the Hainan Island in a deep ocean location. It has a finished well depth of more than 5,000 meters and can operate at depths of more than 1,500 meters. These features also expose it to extremely difficult marine geological conditions. The success of Baodao 21-1 demonstrated the potential of the Baodao SOG for further exploration, according to Wu Qijiang, head geologist for CNOOC Hainan. Additionally, he said that China has made a considerable technological advancement in the field of deep water drilling, and scientists claim that it has significant ramifications for discovering more of these kinds of structures. China's deep sea and deep earth exploration technology, according to Lin Boqiang, director of Xiamen's university's Center for Energy Economics Research, is among the greatest in the world. She claims that this discovery will hasten the development of comparable exploration tools. It also provides a potential stage for the nation to demonstrate its cutting-edge technological capability. Lin added that the recently discovered gas field would contribute to securing China's energy supply. This strategy will also guarantee that the government can meet the expanding energy needs of its residents despite rising natural gas prices globally. According to CNOOC, Deep Sea No. 1, China's own independently discovered ultra-deepwater gas resource is about 150 kilometers away from Baodao 21-1. And since Deep Sea No. 1 began operations June 25, 2021, it has reportedly extracted more than 2 billion cubic meters of natural gas, according to a news source. So why is China constructing such a large number of offshore oil rigs? Oil rigs undoubtedly benefit the economy and the job market, and a booming oil market will start to pay off for the entire planet. 
shipping, transportation, and other forms of travel are essential for a nation the size of China. Additionally, lower market prices for oil and gas have a positive economic knock-on effect that drives down prices for goods and services used by consumers nationwide. And to top it all off, it may be able to save money for both consumers and small businesses. The sector as a whole benefit from the most effective methods of extracting crude oil, which include offshore drilling and oil rigs. Regarding the exploration of deep sea energy, China recently achieved two world records. Now, the Shenlong 3, a self-developed multifunctional modular seabed trencher from China, has been used to lay the country's first offshore pipeline project in Bangladesh, measuring more than 100 kilometers in length. Deep sea trenching behind the canal and sea land directional drilling have never been done before. The Belt and Road Initiative is the driving force behind this project. In order to avoid commercial and naval waterways, it also calls for six directional drills to reach 11.9 meters underground. This is an unprecedented challenge in the history of world maritime engineering, according to Shenlong 3's designer. Additionally, the CPP's general manager, Zhu Feng, told China Media Group that the offshore industry already faces difficulties at a depth of 5 meters below the surface of the ocean. The typical depth, he added, is between 1.5 and 3 meters. A drilling system called Zhuanji China has seen an increase in the manufacture of locally designed machinery and technology for use in offshore oil and gas exploration in recent years. Additionally, the nation saw growth in the amount of financial and human resources dedicated to the sector. The Zhuanji, produced by CNOOC, has now undergone 12 years of research and development. Combining logging while drilling and rotary steerable drilling is a technology for efficient offshore oil and gas exploration. The CNOOC claims that the Zhuanji oil field is China's most productive offshore oil field. The system's precise drill control also enables precise targeting of the oil layer from depths of thousands of meters. The drill might even be remotely driven to penetrate the 0.7 meter thin oil layer from more than 1,000 meters horizontally or obliquely. Additionally, real-time stratigraphic analysis is possible using Zhuanji, and to some extent, this contributes to the cutting down on the cost of oil and gas exploration. Additionally, it might make it easier and more affordable to develop additional maritime oil and gas resources. Since its first platform fell 100 feet, China's offshore oil and gas exploration industry has advanced. In 2012, six ships with 3,000-meter engineering capability entered service, and this occasion signaled the start of China's rapid development of equipment for deep water oil and gas extraction. On June 25, 2021, Shenhai-1, a 100,000-ton semi-submersible oil and gas production and storage platform, started operating in the waters of the Hainan province of China. The wells operator, CNOOC, reported that more than 1 billion cubic meters of natural gas had been produced on February 13. Asia's tallest deep water offshore jacket is called the Hai G1. The Hai G1 was launched into the South China Sea on April 11 at the height of 302 meters. This deep water jacket, manufactured in China, is the tallest on the continent. The 30,000-ton Hai G1 will operate in the eastern South China Sea 200 kilometers southeast of Hong Kong. The Hai G1 also functions as a platform for offshore oil and gas drilling. China has also created and placed a permanent jacket in this body of water for the first time. Additionally, this helps the Greater Bay Area, which includes Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau, to expand. Now with 119 sets produced and shipped, China accounted for 55% of the world's production and delivery of maritime engineering equipment in 2021, according to government data. Additionally, 273 offshore engineering vessels had been ordered from Chinese domestic offshore engineering equipment companies by the end of March, and this represents 54% of the total worldwide. China's oil rigs are now essential to keeping domestic energy and gasoline prices down because Russia is involved in a situation in Ukraine. Things are looking good for the country so far, especially with the addition of the Baodao 21-1. What do you think of China's recent oil discovery? And what do you think about the Western world's rising fuel prices? Make sure to share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like it and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get more insights about China.